Erev Tov Chavri. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We are getting conf uh, finally confirming reports. Sputnik News is backing up the information we've shared with you just a little bit earlier there. Uh, Mikhail on his uh, uh, Twitter channel, of course, the first one, as we said, actually broke this information here. Um, uh, now Sputnik News, as I've said here, is uh, saying that the Army is carrying out mass attacks against Donbass militant positions there. Uh, in their article here, it says the Ukrainian Army has carried out near simultaneous strikes on over half a dozen positions across eastern Ukraine, self-proclaimed Luhansk People's Republic, breaking the shaky ceasefire deal. RIA Novosti News Agency reports citing the press service of the LPR People's Militia. The Luhansk mili uh, Militia reports that Kiev-backed forces are carrying out their attacks using emplaced artillery, RPGs, mortars, and small arms. They are added that militia positions have been fired on seven different positions in a 24-hour period. Now, <clears throat> right here, another one that has broke out is Promka. Uh, inside Ukraine there that's been reported now. Uh, uh, Mikhail D, uh, right here, as I said, he's reported this, 6.30 a.m. Promka, it is raining down shells one after another. Ukraine uh, is, is this key search word, and Avdivka. Uh, uh, but it is everywhere you're seeing. Uh, English Luhansk is also bringing out a lot of these battle in full swing in Promka. Uh, Promka is now under artillery shelling. This, was only, this has only been in the last hour or less than an hour, these things that are actually going on there. Uh, so we do have heavy fighting that is happening uh, uh, in Ukraine and an all-out offensive that has been launched. And again, let me jump back over here to Mikhail's uh, channel here. He has done uh, an amazing job at keeping up with all this. As Ukraine Marines have trained to parachute from a helicopter in uh, uh, Mikola, Mikolaiv region, uh, showing the training that was going on there, heavy artillery pounding and uh, Svostorsk uh, now happening 45 minutes ago. Fighting has restarted in these uh, Svostorsk uh, today. So the fighting continues. Uh, Petro Poroshenko definitely doing an all-out offensive, trying to uh, retake everything that he possibly can. And I'm seeing lots of different names on here. Uh, Grolovka, heavy artillery hurt in the, in the southwest, southwest now. Uh, in Ukraine, uh, Yatsen, uh, Vata sector is heating up. Fighting goes on in Svedoska sector, very loud Ukraine. Uh, 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 Minorovsky sector in particularly. Uh, and it is just ongoing, continually, continually, continually. Of course, the, some of these are the older ones there that have been in the last uh, 24 hours of fighting that started yesterday. And again, mainstream media still not picking it up other than uh, finally Sputnik News has brought it out. Sputnik News, of course, quoting reports uh, from Novosti News. Novosti, very reliable news. And they're getting their news right out uh, from the people on the ground. I did reach out to Mikhail moments ago asking about any video or photos. He said, but at this point now, there's very, very few uh, journalists that are actually on the ground inside of Luhansk uh, area there. Uh, I know we have uh, Donetsk, but probably until the battle slows down, we're not going to see a whole lot more of things that are happening. So hopefully we'll be able to get some word back on things that are breaking on the ground to be able to show you uh, footage of things that are breaking in that area. <clears throat> Continuing on in other news as well, uh, the French court says the IMF chief Lagarde is guilty of negligence. The French court has found the IMF uh, Christine Lagarde guilty of negligence for failing to challenge a $417 million uh, payout to businessmen back in 2008 when she was France's uh, finance minister. Uh, so anyway, just a little side note right there, picking that up. And one other one here I wanted to share with you guys here uh, on electronic resistance on his side here. Uh, he just put out a video here that I thought was very interesting here. Um, turn the volume down. The volume really is not needed in this case here. This is uh, the, uh, the U.S. backed resistance fighters inside of Syria. They are starting to use now what Hollywood uses in order to be able to make smoke to make it look like there has been a massive bomb shelling in certain areas. And they seem to be very proud of what they put together here. 
in order to be able to make more propaganda videos coming out of Syria. Just happened to catch that this morning. I wanted to share that with you so that you can see just exactly what's going on. And I realize, again, there's propaganda, no doubt, on all sides of the wars here. Uh, but uh, that was uh, rather uh, interesting to see that and to see that they are doing this intentionally to make it look like a bomb has actually landed. Uh, more burning of buses uh, is being reported. I haven't been able to follow up on it as of yet. It's still unconfirmed, but uh, just a moments ago, again, buses being burned uh, where they're trying to evacuate the citizens out of there by the different uh, U.S. Uh, coalition-backed forces inside of Syria in around Aleppo and Idlib. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.